Is anyone there? Who are you? Well, we're who's here. We are who's here. Smaller than the eye can see. It's true, sir. We're who's, who's, sir. I'm who. And so are we. We're tiny little people blowing by in the air, wondering how. secretly embarrassed about. He didn't have one single hair on his head. The emperor felt like he needed to wear wigs. He had more than a hundred of them in a closet. They were, they are the finest wigs and could easily be mistaken for real hair. One day a traveling salesperson showed up at the emperor's castle with a very unusual product. What are you selling today? Make it quick. I have a huge emperor to run. Great emperor. I have a new magic hair potion. Um, it's, it's only $19.99, and if you buy it, I'll give you a free comb. Why would I need it? I have a, I have a huge set of hair here. Um, <laughs> but what if your friend is bald, and maybe you can give it to him. Okay. I'll take a hundred bottles for my bald friend. The emperor began, began using the 
hair today magic potion. Each night before he went to bed, he'd take off his wig and put three drops on his very shiny head. Each morning he'd walk to, to his two advisors, Miss Twiddle and Mr. Tweet. They are the, they are the only people the emperor trusted. He asked them if the hair today magic potion was working. Miss Twiddle and Mr. Tree wanted to make the emperor happy. He wanted to keep their jobs, so they told the emperor what he believed he wanted to hear. My trusted advisors, Twiddle and Tree, is the potion working? Is it working? I definitely notice a difference. Huh? Yes. I notice a few hairs. Only a few. Well, when I say a few, I mean maybe like 20. Or maybe 50. They're really nice looking hairs that they have. Yes, I see them too. The Emperor continued to use the potion, as his two trusted advisors continued to tell him that the potion was working. As the days went by, they began to tell more and more extravagant lies to the Emperor. Soon they began to believe the lies themselves. Tell me, my trusted advisors, today is, do I look good? Is the potion working yet? ran off to find the imperial hairdresser. When they found the hairdresser, they described the emperor's hair, new hair in great detail. But now they were so caught up in their lies that they thought completely believed themselves. Soon they had to the imperial hairdresser convinced that the emperor had long, thick, golden, and wavy hair that needed to be cut. Hairdresser set to work with scissors and a comb. The haircut required many hours of snipping and clipping and fussing and worrying the, and blow drying, but at last the imperial hairdresser was finished. Well, what do you think? Maybe a little more off the bat. <laughs> the imperial hairdresser carefully snipped the scissors near the back of the emperor's head. So Twiddle and Twee arranged the elaborate parade. There were jugglers and soldiers and horses. As the tail end of, at the tail end of the parade, the emperor marched proudly. He wasn't wearing his crown. He wanted everyone to gaze at his wonderful new hairstyle. As he passed through the empire, the emperor, Twiddle and Twee and the imperial hairdresser called out to the townspeople. Look at the emperor's hair. Ha, <laughs> 
was embarrassed, but he was also glad that someone was honest enough to tell him. He called out for the little boy to come out of the crowd. The emperor asked the little boy to walk beside him in the parade. The little boy became a trusted advisor and a true friend to the emperor. The emperor stopped using hair growth potions. He gave away his wigs and to families of traveling circus clowns. From that point forward, the emperor worked to run his empire kindly and wisely. No one cared that he didn't have any hair on his head. In fact, most people thought he looked quite handsome. Twiddle and Tweet even shaved their heads to look just like them per the end.